Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you the feature customization and the review of Resurrection Remix ROM 7.1.2 and uh, this video is going to be longer because this ROM has tons and tons of customization and features. So let's move ahead and check the about phone. Now under the about phone you can see the RROS version. RRN 5.8.3 and under the about tab you can see all the information about developers how to contact them and here is the list of official devices now this ROM supports a lot of devices like you can see LG then Motorola and after that Lenovo, ZTE, Samsung and blah 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 Anyways, I'm going to drop the link of official website below in the description so you can check it later. And after that, the Android version is 7.1.2 and the kernel is 3.4.0 FeatherX. So let's move ahead and check the settings and customization. Now, under wireless and network, there is Wi Fi, Bluetooth, SIM card, and data usage. And after that, under personalization, you can see the configuration tab. Now, the first tab is the status bar. Here, you can change the clock customization. As you can see, I have done it from here. After that, there is brand logo. If I enable it, I'll get the Resurrection Remix brand logo. And after that, there is a custom logo. You can see the spider hanging on the top of the mobile. I have the different options for custom logos like owl or whatever you like after that there is battery options like this battery and battery percentage after battery there is system icons like all the system icons which will appear on the status bar now, as you can see on the status bar I can change the 4G icon from here after system icon there is notification tickers then weather temperature network traffic carrier label then there is status bar gesture double tap on status bar to put your phone on slip and there is system UI tuner under status bar you can add or remove icons which you want to see on your status bar then there is do not disturb and under the other tab there is power notification controls then at last there is breathing notification now after status bar there is panels first option is notification panel now here you can manage your notification panel view now after that there is header let's enable it now as you can see there is the custom header image I can change that image from here like this or pitch black too then you can change the header image shadow from here then there is weather, weather image, service setting, then setting shortcuts. Now all these are header shortcuts. If you don't want these icons here, you can disable it. Like this. Now after header there is task manager. Now this one is your task manager it looks like this you can kill any task from here like like this then you can change the task manager button now here this rom has customization option even for the small things after task manager there is volume panel settings then there is power dialog and at last there is notification force expanded notification, disable immersive mode messages, disable FC notification and kill app button. 
after panel there is a recents the first option is general ui now this one is your recent menu you can change it to default full screen of status bar only then there is show memory bar like this is the memory bar and it is showing me the free ram then show date show clock now after general ui there is clear all button this is the clear all button if i don't like this i can remove it or i can customize it i can change the color of this button or i can change the entire button i'll show you that and even i can change the location of the button then under recent style the first option is button style from here you can change that recent button now this one is google recent button this one is for layers now i will change back it into the android stock after button style there is custom recent style i'll have to enable it to customize the recent button now after that there is animate fab if i enable it i'll get the animation on the recent button like this after recent style there is hidden apps i can add apps which i don't want to appear on my recent menu i can do it from here then after that there is omni switch if i enable it the recent menu will be disabled and omni switch will be enabled now this is the omni switch for the people who don't like the custom recent menu i'll disable it for now then again there is slim recent option you have third option for your, your recent menu here as i told you this rom has a lot of customization options i'll disable that too now under slim recent there is slim recent settings you can customize your slim recent menu from here now after recents there is quick setting first is quick animation now this is your quick setting panel now you can see the animation of the quick setting button after that there is quick pull down then tile layout you can manage the number of rows and columns from here then there is advanced button like if i touch on the quick setting button it will vibrate advanced data title then after that brightness slider brightness icons then wifi easy toggle then bluetooth easy toggle all the advanced settings now after quick setting there is lock screen the first option is gestures under gesture if i double tap on the lock screen it will put my phone on sleep mode then after that there is power button torch long press then after gesture there is lock ui the first option is show power menu lock screen then show lock screen clock like whatever items you want to see on your lock screen ui you can do it from here after lock ui there is color customization you can customize your lock screen then lock screen shortcuts these are the lower lock screen shortcuts and after after that there is upper lock screen shortcut you can add any application which you would like to see on your lock screen menu i will show you that now these two are my lock screen shortcuts and if i press long enough it will open the app then after upper shortcuts there is weather options and at last there is security after lock screen there is gesture the first option is gesture anywhere now this is another cool feature of this rom I will show you how it works like if I enable it like I can add or remove app of my choice 
after gesture anyway there is app circle bar this is the app circle bar I'll disable it for now then there is spy control if I enable it I'll get this spy control you all have your captive buttons on your thumb here now you can change the position of spy control like this and you can add different option to your spy control like I have added this screenshot option you can set your pi ta targets from here you can add kill task button or screenshot button or whatever you want then i can customize the color of pi menu then there is pi style then after pi control there is three finger gesture if i enable it and swipe using three fingers i'll get the screenshot now after the gesture there is buttons under buttons the first option is navigation bar if i enable it i'll get the navigation bar now I can change the navigation mode from smart bar to flying and at last there is pulse option if you enable the pulse it will show the pulse on navigation bar when you play any music file for now I will disable it after navigation bar there is hardware keys like home button, overview button and power button you can tweak it from here after hardware is there is power button you can customize your power button menu from here now after buttons there is animation the first option is system animation I will show you the activity open animation here if I put it into slide in left and activity close the animation slide in right now you can see the activity close animation and this one is the activity open animation the speed of animation is really very slow and and it does not have the option to make it fast so this is kind of useless for now just like this you can do it to manage your different task and at last we have list view under list view animation if I put into left right I'll get the animation on, on my list views like this now after system animation there is scrolling modifiers the toast animations these are all the toast animations after toast there is power menu you can change the animation of your power menu now at last there is configuration tabs transition effects now this is configuration and these all are configuration tabs you can check the animation I'll change it now it is on rotate mode scaling out now after animation there is interface the first option is font size you can manage your font size here then display size then custom LCD density pixel then blur personalization now under blur options you can blur your status bar then quick setting and recent tabs now as you can see this is the quick setting panel and this is on default mode I'll now make it transparent if I enable it now I can see through the setting quick setting panel this is how it works now after blur personalization there is expanded desktop then ambient display then dashboard settings dashboard is nothing but your setting menu like if I change from nougat to classic I'll get the classic menu view
now after configuration style there is show setting drawer suggestions conditions I can disable it from here I can manage the number of columns from here then randomize summary now after dashboard there is input options for your keyboard then heads up notification now under screenshot option there is screenshot crop and share option and screenshot type either you can take the full screenshot or you can take the screenshot of your selected area now after interface there is miscellaneous setting the first option is AC Linux option then AC Linux mode then warning color show floating button then in call do not disturb then clock and widget setting and here is the OTA updates setting you can get all your OTA updates from here then after that there is big lock blocker hit set then alarm blocker suspend actions like if I enable this mobile network mode and if I lock my phone now the LTE will be disabled and 2G will be enabled now at last there is system app remover now using this you can even remove your system apps there is about tab we have seen this earlier now after configuration there is themes now this ROM also supports the substratum theme engine without any bugs now after themes there is magix manager now you don't have to root your device after flashing this ROM you will get the magix manager pre-installed inside this ROM now this ROM has a lot of customization option even though this is super fast the battery optimization is very good the memory management is very good then it has pi controls then omni switch now what else you need inside your ROM all the people who have been using the expose module on their marshmallow version would definitely going to love this room now here you can see the breathing notifications of SMS which I had told you earlier so guys this is all about the feature and customization of resurrection remix ROM and my opinion about this ROM is that this ROM is the best ROM so guys if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel thank you